भैया इस पर रुक जाना हाँ लाइव करा देना एक मिनट लेकिन यहाँ तो कम से कम एक मिनट हेलो माय डियर लर्नर्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई एम शशांक एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इंग्लिश मीडियम प्रेप बाय एग्जामपुर सो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन स्टूडेंट्स सो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन एंड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आर्ट एंड कल्चर सेशन सो आर्ट एंड कल्चर वॉज द टॉपिक दैट वॉज बिंग डिमांडेड बाई स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो कि वी शुड हैव अ सेशन ऑन आर्ट एंड कल्चर एज वेल so guys now we will be starting the session so good evening uh, good morning madhana rajendran good morning everyone and welcome to the session so students now let's start the session let's start the session and uh, let's start the session and students before i should start the session i will request every one of you to please download the example app six, six simple steps has to be followed first of all you have to go to google play store there you have to search example once you will search example guys uh, uh, app will appear and then you have to register by filling a simple form where basic details of you is needed and then you have to click the check box and then you have to register the app now what are the value offerings that we are giving in this app first of all paid live courses with the test series free subject wise quizzes job alerts admit card all previous exams pdf with solution free all india test series topic wise free sessions free full length sectional test free exam wise pdf daily weekly and monthly current affairs and then you have unlimited access to the quizzes so these are the basic things that we are offering in the that we are offering guys and now let's start the session so let's start the session of today now let's start the session and here is the first question that is before you and the first question is in which of the state the folk painting madhubani is popular so in which of the following state madhubani art is very popular is it in west bengal odisha bihar or assam very easy question for you all and the session starts with a very easy question madhubani recently mithila makhana that has been given gi tag also so which state the folk painting madhubani is popular so if i talk about guys madhubani painting madhubani painting that is famous in bihar and it is a very unique style of the painting which is did through aripan so the material through which this painting is did it is called aripan so correct answer will be bihar and the uh you can say the material through which it is painted the material through which the painting is did that is called aripan so through aripan the painting is did and mithila makhana also got the gi tag so mithila makhana also got recently the gi tag other than this west bengal you have patua art that is related to west bengal odisha you have pat odisha you have patta chitra that is related to odisha so correct answer will be guys option c that is in bihar folk painting madhubani and madhubani it is name of a district also so madhubani ghat kali 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 ghat that is a place in west bengal there you will find very famous kali mata temple is there and madhubani guys it is also a name of a district name of a district in bihar 
सो इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन बिहार सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी दैट इज रिलेटेड टू बिहार एंड चटनी ऑल्सो ऑफ उड़ीसा दैट हैज कॉल्ड जी आई टैग मिथिला मखाना बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट बिहार सो दे आर फोर इट इज मिथिल इट इज वी टॉक्ड अबाउट मिथिला मखाना सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन सी दैट इज लोकेटेड इन बिहार नाउ गाइज लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट्स अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन मल्टीपल टाइम्स दिस सेम क्वेश्चन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड If I remember properly, so multiple times this question has discussed. This time also they have given in the quiz. In fact, so next is that Nek Chand Saini name it is associated with which of the following garden? So that we have discussed, I guess, about Nek Chand Saini. Although he died recently, but he is a very he was a very famous personality. So Nek Chand Saini name is associated with which of the following gardens? Is it Shalimar Bagh, Rock Garden, Hanging Garden, Vrindavan Garden? Very easy question, guys. Multiple times we have discussed this question. So Nek Chand Saini's name is associated with which of the following gardens? Okay, let's see the correct answer. Oh ho! Very easy question, guys. We don't have to put extra of our mind. So that is located in Rock Garden, that is Chandigarh, and this Rock Garden was made from the Darbis. so this rock garden was made from darbis of the city made from the darbis of the city and it was designed this chandigarh city that is designed by le cobusier now you have to tell me ki le cobusier is associated with which of the country so Lee Kobus here was associated with which of the country? So yes, Rock Garden. It was designed by Lee Kobus here. So from which country he belong and or you can say that what was his nationality? So actually, guys, Lee Kobus here was Swiss French artist. So he was Swiss French architect. he was a swiss french architect that was le cobusier so le cobusier was a swiss french architect so swiss french architect so mainly he was associated with france but uh, he was born in switzerland so therefore swiss french arch architect and shalimar bag it was being made by mogal so shalimar bag nishat bag these are all in srinagar and this shalimar bag guys it was made by jahangir for his wife Noor Jahan, and the real name of Noor Jahan was Mehrul Nisa. Noor Jahan, that was the title given to her, which means the light of the world. So, correct answer will be option B, guys. Rock Garden, that is in Chandigarh, and whenever you go to Chandigarh, please visit that place. It's a very beautiful place. Multiple times I have visited this same, and very beautiful place. And the different type of the architecture that is being made that is all through the derbies of the cities therefore it is also called rock garden so whatever the things has been made it is all from the derbies of that city so correct answer will be option b that is rock garden that is located in chandigarh and chandigarh guys it is a union territory now who is the administrator of chandigarh let me change the question in fact i am adding one more question Ki who is? It is a UT, so we have administrator. So administrator of Chandigarh. Who is administrator of Chandigarh? Can you give me this answer, guys? Because this question I have discussed earlier also. Ki who is the administrator of Chandigarh? Now, just I am changing the question. Although all of you have given the correct answer about. Nek Chand Saini, but since it is a Chandigarh, it is a union territory. So who is the administrator of Chandigarh? So let me change the question. Who is the administrator of Chandigarh? Bhagwan Tuman. Bhagwan Tuman. Why he will become the administrator of Chandigarh? Bhagwan Tuman is the chief minister of Punjab. So why Bhagwan Tuman? So anybody can become anyone. No visa. that i have discussed bhagwant man is the chief minister but he is not the administrator of chandigarh the governor of punjab is the administrator of chandigarh 
सो गवर्नर ऑफ पंजाब इज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑफ चंडीगढ़ गवर्नर ऑफ पंजाब इज गाइज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑफ चंडीगढ़ इट इज अनियन टेरिटरी देयर फोर यू विल फाइंड इट्स अ ज्वाइंट कैपिटल ऑफ पंजाब एंड हरियाणा सो द राजभवन ऑफ बोथ स्टेट दे आर इन चंडीगढ़ बट द गवर्नर ऑफ पंजाब इज द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑफ चंडीगढ़ दैट यू शुड नो बिकॉज वेन एवर इट कम्स टू चंडीगढ़ द स्टूडेंट्स बिकम कंफ्यूज कि हु इज द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव हेड ऑफ द चंडीगढ़ सो गवर्नर ऑफ पंजाब हु सो एवर बी द गवर्नर ऑफ पंजाब विल डायरेक्टली बिकम द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ऑफ chandigarh so i hope this point please note that this point because this if comes in exam the student maximum commits the mistake so governor of punjab is the administrator of chandigarh i hope guys this is clear to all of you hmm. so whosoever be the governor because governor will keep on changing so whosoever become the governor of punjab will directly become the administrator of chandigarh so is that clear to all of you guys then please let me know then i will be proceeding to the next question is that clear to all of you and i think i should be properly audible and visible to everyone okay now guys let's move to the next question next question is ki which of the following is not correctly matched mahakal temple that is in ujjain shringeri temple shringeri math that is in chikmangalur sun temple konark jain temple khajuraho so which of the following is not correctly matched so guys you are not able to see the things okay let me just okay guys now the question should be visible to all of you now the question is visible guys or still it's not visible the is that question visible or still it is not visible so if question is visible to on your mobile screen or laptop screen question is visible okay so the correct answer will be guys option d that is one second correct answer will be guys option d jain temple they are in rajasthan specially ranakpur and mount abu and in khajuraho you will find kandariya महादेव टेंपल कंदरिया महादेव टेंपल महाकाल टेंपल इट इज इन उज्जैन वेरी फेमस टेंपल गाइस महाकाल टेंपल इट इज इन उज्जैन देन श्रृंगेरी मठ दैट इज इन चिक मंगलूर दैट इज इन कर्नाटक एंड इट वाज बीइंग स्टैब्लिश्ड बाय शंकराचार्य then sun temple that is konark which is also called the black pagoda which is also called the black pagoda and jain temples generally you will find in rajasthan one it is ranakpur jain temple very famous temple and next is mount abu there you will find dilwada jain temples dilwada jain temple so dilwada jain temple it is in hmm sun temple that is called black pagoda that is in konark and konark wheel it is depicted on which currency note konark wheel konark wheel on which currency note konark wheel you will find on which denomination currency note my dear students konark wheel that you will find in which denomination currency notes
sir if you have visited if you have time please discuss all south indian temple that i will take a session on the specially the religious places not only temples the mosque the other important thing every type the churches the gurudwara so that is in uh, my mind so vijay you can give me your suggestion in the comment box of the video about all the religious places maximum religious places of india will try to cover okay very good so that is 10 rupees note so on 10 rupees note you will find konark wheel konark wheel it is on 10 rupee note now rani ki Vab, it is on 100 rupees 50 rupees that is the chariot of hampi chariot of hampi Fifty and Rani ki Vav. That is a step well. Well in Gujarat that is on rupees hundred. And it is a step well that is Rani ki Vav that is a in Gujarat that is in Patan district of Gujarat. So correct answer will be option C that is Sun Temple and Mangalyan that is on two thousand rupees the very pink color note. So, correct answer will be guys option C that is Konark temple that is in Gujarat that is in Urisa. Now, Kalamkari painting very famous painting Kalamkari. So, Kalamkari painting it as it is a hand painted on cotton textile in South India a handmade drawing on a bamboo handicraft in Northeast. Northeast a block painted wooden clothes in Himalayan region a handmade decorative silk cloth. So, what is Kalamkari guys? Okay, so 20 rupees note that is the Elora caves that is greenish yellow. Greenish yellow that is the 20 rupees it is of the Elora caves. Okay, so guys correct answer will be option A that is handmade painting that is on cotton textile that is on cotton textile in South India that is in Andhra Pradesh. And you are asking about 20 rupees. So, 20 rupees note. Greenish yellow. And the things which is depicted that is Elora caves. Elora caves. Total we have 34 caves. That is associated with Buddhism. Jainism and Hinduism. And that cave 16 of Elora, that is called the cave 16 of Elora, that is also known as Kailashna temple. Cave 16 of Elora, that is called Kailashna temple. So, hmm, correct answer will be guys option A, that is handmade painted cotton textile in south india that is popularly that is popularly in andhra pradesh region 20 rupees note as you are asking vijay that is greenish yellow alora caves total we have 34 caves in it that is associated with buddhism jainism and hinduism and out of this 34 cave the cave 16 it is called uh, kailashna temple and this is in the district aurangabad aurangabad district of Maharashtra. Aurangabad district of Maharashtra. So that is related to Lord Shiva because Kailashnath that is the temple of Lord Shiva. That is the temple of Lord Shiva. So correct answer will be option A that is a handmade painted cotton textile in South India. 
देयर फोर करेक्ट आंसर विल बी ऑप्शन ए नाउ कम टू अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन दैट इज ऑल अबाउट वर्ली आर्ट थर्टी केस दैट इज इन अजंता दैट इज इन अजंता गाइज यू हैव ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी केस नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिफोर यू इज कि फ्रॉम विच इंडियन स्टेट डिड वर्ली आर्ट ओरिजिनेट वर्ली आर्ट ओरिजिनेटेड इन विच स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया वर्ली आर्ट ओरिजिनेटेड वर्ली इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ ट्राइब वर्ली इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ ट्राइब इन महाराष्ट्र तो वर्ली आर्ट दैट इज ओरिजिनेटेड इन महाराष्ट्र तो इट इज द नेम ऑफ द ट्राइब ऑल्सो दैट इज द इट इज ओरिजिनेटेड इन द महाराष्ट्र रीजन सो वर्ली आर्ट इट इज स्टार्टेड इन महाराष्ट्र इट इज द नेम ऑफ अ ट्राइब ऑल्सो which is found in the maharashtra region so worli painting that is famous in maharashtra region worli it is name of a tribe as well now from which area did nandlal bose earn the fame so nandlal bose earned the fame in which area is it painting folk dance a uh, folk art dance or politics nandlal bose in which area did nandlal bose earn the fame nandlal bose guys nandlal bose guys if i talk about nandlal bose he was the person who designed the pages of the constitution who designed the pages of constitution of india so he was actually a painting and was associated with shanti niketan associated with shanti niketan so he was the person he was associated with painting and he designed the pages of the constitution now constitution guys it was originally written in english so constitution that was originally written in english and the calligraphy of english that was did by prem bihari rai zada and the calligraphy of hindi that was did by vasant krishna vaidya so that was did by vasant krishna vaidya यस प्रेम नारायण बिहारी राय ज्यादा और प्रेम बिहारी राय ज्यादा हिट डेड द कैलीग्राफी इन इंग्लिश सो द होल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज रिटर्न इन इटैलिक फॉन्ट सो द होल कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट इज रिटर्न इन इटैलिक फॉन्ट सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज द a that is the painting so he was associated with painting not with folk dance politics or folk art so correct answer will be option a that is associated with paint now just you have to match the following match the following first it is the name of the temple and second it is the state where they are located i where we see original written constitution that is kept in the library of parliament so you can go and see if you are permitted that is being kept in the central library so if uh, 
you have any connection with a sitting MP, they can take you to the parliament, he or she can take you to the parliament library where the original copy, where the original constitution which was being calligraphed by Prem Bihari Raizada, it is being kept. So, it is kept in the helium filled box. So, that is in the library of parliament there, you can go and see. So, but for this, you have to need a MP or a officer who is working in the parliament to take you inside because it's a very high security area, very high security area. Okay, guys, now let's see this option or question. Okay, first of all, Somnath temple that is located in Gujarat. So, that is located in C, that is Gujarat. Kamakya temple that is in Assam, then Ramanath Swami temple that is in Tamil Nadu that is called popularly known as Rameshwaram and Mahabodhi temple that is the place where Buddha attained enlightenment so that is in Bihar. So place where Buddha attained enlightenment so that is in bihar so c a b d c a b d that will be the correct option and buddha in enlightenment at the age of 35 years so buddha attained enlightenment at the age of 35 years ramanath swami temple that is the famous rameshwaram and rameshwaram it is the hometown of dr kalam and it is in tamil nadu so rameshwaram guys it is in tamil nadu Birthplace of Dr. Kalam. Birthplace of Dr. Kalam. So, correct answer will be option C, that is C A C A B D. So, C A B D, that is the correct answer. Now, come to the next question. Now, which of the following? So, that we have already discussed about the Black Pagoda. So, which temple that is named, it is called Black Pagoda. Very easy question. Today, they have given very easy, easy question for you to solve. So, that you can gain the confidence and once it comes to the tough question, you can answer with that zeal and enthusiasm. Had definitely once you are once you are being posted in parliament parliament house then you can see that thing okay so the name black pagoda that is the sun temple that is konark ramanath swami temple that is in temple of lord shiva bake bihari temple where the stampede occurred and and almost uh, four five people died on the day of uh, Krishna Janmashtami, that is Banke Bihari temple, that is in Vrindavan, that is in Uttar Pradesh. And due to the heavy stampede, guys, the four or five people died in the Banke Bihari temple. Trambakeshwar temple, that is associated with Lord Shiva. So, Sun temple, that is in Konark, that is called Black Pagoda and White Pagoda, that is Jagannath temple. that is in Puri, famous for the Rath Yatra. So, White Pagoda that is in hmm. Vrindavan that is in Mathura, UP. So, that is a place in Mathura, the district is Mathura. And what happened on the day of Janmashtami, the capacity of Banke Bihari temple, I have visited Banke Bihari temple is around seven to 800 people. But at the time of the Mangala Arti that is conducted only once in a year, that is on the night of Janmashtami, almost 20,000 people, they tried to enter inside the temple and it's a very, it's, it's, it is in a very congested area. So, due to the suffocation, many people, in fact, the stampede happened and many people, around four or five people, they died. So, that was a very uh, 
uh, upset type moment that the people go to see the worship went for worship of Lord Krishna, but due to the stampede and suffocation, people died over there. Hmm. Jagannath temple is temple without shadow. It is not the temple without shadow. It is the temple without shadow that is the Raj Rajeshwar temple that is in Tanjore. On the afternoon time, the shadow of temple does not fall on land. That is the Raj Rajeshwar temple, which is also called Brihaddeshwar temple that is in Tanjore. In Jagannath temple, guys, you will find Ki above Jagannath temple, it is automatically a no flying zone. No birds, they pass through the Jagannath temple. In fact, no aeroplane, any type of aircraft, any type of bird, they do not fly over the Jagannath temple. So, it is a natural no flying zone area. It is a natural no flying zone area. And the flag of Jagannath temple, it is changed every day. And once you are inside Jagannath temple, the sea is very near. You cannot hear the sound of the sea. And once you are out of the Jagannath temple, you will again start hearing the sound of the sea. So that is the beauty of that architecture. And it is my in my checklist to visit this Jagannath temple. So I am also very much in, uh, whenever I will get the time, in fact, then I will definitely visit this place. Very beautiful, very religious place it is. Now, come to the next question, ki which of the following, which tales have been associated with the sculpture of Ajanta painting? Is it Panchatantra, Jain tales, Jataka tales or Hitopadesh tales? So, which of the following tales related to the painting and sculpture of Ajanta? So, if you will go to Ajanta Caves, which type of sculpture and painting you will find? Is it related to Panchatantra? Is it related to Jain tales? Is it related to Jataka tales? Is it related to the Hitopadesh tales? Definitely Vijay will share the picture once I visit this Jagannath Puri. So, it is in my to-do list to visit this holy place. Now, if I talk about Ajanta, Ajanta that is the total we have 30 caves located in Aurangabad district of Maharashtra and it is associated with Jataka tales. Jataka tales it is associated with Buddhism. And it is the story about the past life of Buddha. So it is the story about past life of Buddha. And Jataka tales it is written in Khuddak Nikai. So it is written in Khuddak Nikai. Which is a part of Sutpitak. It is a part of Sutpitak and Sutpitak guys contains the original teaching of the Buddha. Panchatantra guys that was written by Vishnu Sharma. Vishnu Sharma wrote the Panchatantra and Hitopadesh that is written by Narayana Pandit. Hitopadesh that is written to Narayan Pandit. So correct answer will be option C that is Jataka Tales. So correct answer will be option C that is Jataka Tales. Now come to the next question. Now the prolific Indian famous painter Makbul Fida Hussain predominantly used which animal to depict a lively and free spirit in his painting? Hmm. Vishnu Sharma, no, no, that was Vishnu Gupta, it is Kautilya. Vishnu Sharma is different. He is associated, he was associated with Gupta period. Vishnu Gupta was Chanakya, he was associated with Mauryan period. So, 
सो प्रोलिफिक पेंटर मकबूल फिदा हुसैन प्रीडोमिनेटली यूज विच एनिमल टू डिपिक्ट द लाइवली एंड फ्री स्पिरिट इन इज पेंटिंग दैट इज द हॉर्सेस सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइज हॉर्सेस एंड दीज हॉर्सेज आर कॉल्ड हुसैन हॉर्सेस so he was a very famous painter although he made some objectionable painting of the hindu god and goddesses so uh, he was being boycotted also so due to some of his controversial painting he was being boycotted also so that is husain horses and you must have seen in a movie that was uh, ranbir that was ranbir singh debut movie that was ladies versus ricky behel in which he used to con the people and used to sell the fake things so in that he sold sold a fake painting of hussain horses and took the price of real one so that is the horses hussain horses that is through which he used to depict the life so correct answer will be guys option b that is the horses that you can see in the movie ladies versus ricky behel in the first the debut movie of ranbir singh now come to the next question that's a very famous movie if you have time you can watch this it's a full entertaining movie now pandit shiv kumar sharma is famous for playing what so pandit shiv kumar sharma is famous for playing which instrument is it santur sitar sarod or flute so pandit shiv kumar sharma is famous for playing which musical instrument guys shiv kumar sharma pandit shiv kumar sharma who passed away recently and pandit shiv kumar sharma was a very famous santur player so he used to play santur other than him bhajan sopuri is also a santur player and santur it is a string instrument it is a string instrument sitar that is pandit ravi shankar although pandit ravi shankar is also no more than anushka shankar then sarod pandit sarod you will find very famous that is a uh, uh, ustad amjad ali khan लूट पंडित हरी प्रसाद चौरसिया सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन सितार पंडित हरी प्रसाद चौरसिया दैट वाज एसोसिएटेड विथ फ्लूट दैट इज बांसुरी सो करेक्ट आंसर विल बी गाइस ऑप्शन ए दैट इज संतूर एंड संतूर अर्लियर यू अ सोप यूज टू कम बाय द नेम ऑफ संतूर so santur guys it was a name of the it was a brand of a soap as well santur sabun so that was santur so santur it's a name of a musical instrument and it was name of a brand of a soap also now come to the next question ki name the great maestro of indian music ustad bismillah khan he is related to which musical instrument Ustad Bismillah Khan the name itself Bismillah means to start so Ustad Bismillah Khan is related to which musical instrument Ustad Bismillah Khan guys Ustad Bismillah Khan he was related to Shehnai and Shehnai guys it is such a musical instrument which is played on auspicious occasions especially during the time of marriage 
especially during the time of marriage the shahnai players they were invited to play shahnai but right now in the day of technology the shahnai players are very rare to find therefore what the music what the sound system has developed so they used to play the track of shahnai so once you must have visited any marriage occasion there you must have heard the song of shahnai and that is generally being played on the track so shahnai track is being played so that it you can get the feel of shahnai it's a very auspicious instrument that was generally you per the shahnai players earlier they were available so they were called to play shahnai in fact and tabla guys it is very famous ustad bismillah khan sorry ustad bismillah khan sorry that is related to shahnai and for ustad zakir hussain and allah allah rakha khan they are famous tabla players so they are famous tabla players hmm. in south india they also play shahnai so the size of the shahnai that is generally played in the south india is big as compared to the shahnai which is played in the north indian region so correct answer will be guys ustad bismillah khan is associated with shahnai player although is also no more now sataria that is organized recognized as a classical dance from the sahitya natak academy that originated from where hmm. so sataria dance that is originated from where sataria dance is it assam karnataka gujarat or tripura ha shahnai players now they are very rare to find so sataria that was being introduced by acharya shankar dev so that is in assam so sataria that is acharya shankar dev that is a classical dance from assam now guys if i talk about the classical dances so total number of classical dances total number of classical dances is 8 so total number of classical dance that is yes recently garba nominated in unesco intangible heritage list so garba and dandiya they are the folk dance of gujarat they are the folk dance from gujarat and yakshagan that is the folk of karnataka yakshagan folk dance of karnataka yakshagan folk dance of karnataka so correct answer will be option yes total number of uh that is the k cube m square obs that is k cube m square obs that is the total number of classical dances yes so that is the trick to remember the all the classical dances k cube m square obs in upcoming session i will decode this so that everyone can know what is the what are the classical dances total we have eight classical dances that is approved by sahitya natak academy that is located in delhi therefore correct answer will be option a now rof it is a folk dance which is associated with which state rof rof is a folk dance which is associated with which of the following state rof folk dance it is associated with which of the following state Hmm. Ottoman thul that is Kerala, Kerala. Ottoman thul that is Kerala. 
विजय दैट इज दैट इज केरल ऑटोमन थुल दैट इज कॉल्ड ऑटोमन थुल दैट इज फ्रॉम केरल सो रॉफ हेक्कत That is associated with Jammu. That is associated with Jammu Kashmir. Rajasthan, you have Kalbelia. Then you have Kachi Ghodi. That is Jhumar. That is from there. Bhangra, Gidha. That is from Punjab. And Ottoman Thul. That is from Kerala. Ottoman Thul that is of Kerala. So Rauf and Hikkat that is associated with Jammu Kashmir. Now, India's first full-length talking movie. India's first full-length talking movie. Gatka. Gatka it is a type of a martial arts. So it is a Sikh martial arts that is called Gatka. So next question is which is India's first full length talking movie. So that was being that is Alam Ara 1931 that was being directed by Adeshir Irani. Adeshir Irani that is Alam Ara. And that was being in that was being uh, produced in 1931 itself. So that is Alam Ara. It was a good question guys. Now let's see the next question. Ki which of the following pair is correctly matched? Okay, get vision D D. Okay, Kathak Kali. So, hmm. Gatka, no, no. No, no, it's not started by Guru Tegh Bahadur. Guys, the correct answer is Bharat Natyam that is related to Tamil Nadu. Kathak that is related to Uttar Pradesh. Then Kuchipudi, not related to Odisha. Kathakali, that is related to Kerala. And Kuchipudi, Andhra Pradesh. And Kuchipudi, guys, it is the name of a village also. Kuchipudi, it is the name of a village also from where this Kuchipudi dance originated. And these are all classical dances of India. These are all classical dances of India. So they are all classical dances. These are all classical dances of India. Kuchipudi that is Andhra Pradesh, Kathakali that is Kerala, Bharatnatyam that is in Tamil Nadu and Kathak that is in Uttar Pradesh. Therefore correct answer will be option C that is Bharatnatyam. Now, come to the next question. Alu posto, that is a traditional delicacy of which of the following state of India? Alu posto. Kuchipuri, that is in Andhra. And Kuchipuri, it is name of a village also that is located in Andhra Pradesh. From where this dance originated? So, alu posto, that is a traditional delicacy of which of the state? So, if you are a food lover, and if you have not visited West Bengal, so your journey is still under process. So, posto, posto that is the poppy seeds. Alu, that means potato. Posto, that is poppy seeds. That is a delicacy of West Bengal. That is a delicacy of West Bengal. So, posto that is poppy seeds, it is a delicacy of West Bengal. Gujarat, guys, you will find 
द वेरी फेमस खमंड देन यू हैव अ वेरी फेमस थिंग दैट इज ढोकला दैट इज इन गुजरात एंड वेस्ट बेंगाल इट इज अ प्लेस ऑफ द फूड लवर्स सो मेनी डेलीकेसीज आर देयर माछेर झोल एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द थिंग्स विच इज रिलेटेड टू द फिश दैट इज ऑल बींग मेड इन द वेस्ट बेंगाल सो वेस्ट बेंगाल पीपल दैट आई हैव सीन what i have seen and that is according to my personal experience ki they are very good tea lovers so they can take 5 to 6 cup of a tea on a daily basis hmm dhokla khakhda fafda this type of thing that is in gujarat so they are very much foodie and they enjoy the food optimally now come to the next question ki in which of the following states sarhul festival is or is, is celebrated sarhul sarhul festival it is a tribal festival in nature so sarhul festival guys it is organized in which state of india sarhul festival Darjeeling that is in West Bengal, so they are naturally tea lover people. They can eat, they can drink five to six cup in a day, and they are very much foodie people. That that's my personal experience. So, Sarhul festival, guys, that is a tribal New Year. So that is a tribal New Year, and this is celebrated in Jharkhand. so this is type of a tribal new year therefore it is celebrated in jharkhand so sarhul festival that is celebrated in jharkhand hmm now come to the next question ki in which of the following temples ambu basi fair is celebrated every year so ambu basi festival it is celebrated every year in which of the following places is it jagannath temple kamakhya temple kashi vishwanath temple kedarnath temple so ambuvasi festival that is a very auspicious festival in hinduism and ambuvasi festival guys that is celebrated in kamakhya temple that is located in assam so there it is celebrated jagannath temple rath yatra rath yatra kashi vishwanath temple the famous savan festival kedarnath also savan kashi vishwanath it is in up varanasi and kedarnath guys that is in uttar kashi district of uttarakhand uttarakhand so correct answer will be option b hmm. that is kamakhya temple so there ambuvasi festival is celebrated every year now in which of the indian state zorai bota hmm yes in which of the indian state zorai and bota are the cultural symbols zorai bota they are the cultural symbols of which of the following states zorai and bota they are the cultural symbols of which of the following states cultural symbols of which of the following states zorai and bota so zorai and bota guys they are zorai bota and gamosa they are the cultural symbols of assam they are the cultural symbols of assam zorai bota and gamosa they are the cultural symbols of assam so correct answer will be option b that is assam okay so students with this we come to the end of our today's session and i hope guys you must have found the session interesting and informative and according to need of the exam so don't forget to like and share the video 
as well as we will be meeting at 1 pm for a session on indian polity also so that was all for the day guys let's meet sharp at 1 pm again for the session on indian polity so that was all for the day let's meet sharp at 1 pm till then bye bye everyone do take very good care of yourself